Hey everyone and welcome to Let's Play How to Full Boyfriend. Now I'm here with the masterful, magnificent, mellifluous, magnanimous, megalomaniacal Simon Parsons. Megalomaniacal? Me! <laughs> megalomaniacal. I'm, there we go. Never. Yes. And, uh, and yeah, if you remember correctly, I started the series before. Um, but, uh, in interestingly enough, I happened to break up with the boyfriend who was doing it with me. <laughs> so we're rebooting it. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's not the reason why I'm doing this, though. Let's, let's make this one perfectly clear. You know, I'm, 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 not, I'm not Will's replacement. <laughs> no, no. Simon's my bro. <laughs> um... But yeah, we just figured it would be fun and weird and crazy, so we're doing it. Um, Seems just right for us, really, doesn't it? Yeah. And uh, let's do this. Welcome to St. Pigeonations. Please enter your name. What do we want to call her? Oh, I didn't realize there was going to be a decision this early. Yep. Um, uh, considering this is a pigeon base, how about Twiggy? <laughs> Twiggy Cooper, there you go. Cooper. <laughs> there you go, right. There we go, I was like, wait, why can't it let me type? There we go. Yes. Hey. Yeah. Hit the Y. Hit the Y, there we go. Twiggy Tosaka. <laughs> it sounds sounds it sounds like a brand of sake, doesn't it? Yep. <laughs> I like it. Yes. You gotta ring. Is Twiggy Tosaka okay? I don't know what's wrong with her. Well, she did walk into that door. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Audible Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits. Do we want to see the human portraits, or do we want to just... Because in the other one, it was always them showing up as being the birds at first. Yeah, um... It would actually, it would be nice if we could see what the human person... Well, actually, I'm sure with the magic of the internet, we can find a way of adding the human ones in later on. Mm -hmm. So we go with the birds and then see how well we voice them. Sure. Yeah. Woo. Configuration saved. Yeah. That's how we do. St. Pigeon Nations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Cool. Really? <laughs> And I promise you that's the last time I'm going to do that. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, and even sports all come to St. Pigeonations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. Can you imagine a pigeon long jump? <laughs> you know, they, they, they just jump, flap, 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 flap. And the record is 300 miles. Yep, I'd say that's what it does. Hmm. <laughs> I'm often asked why I chose to come here despite not being a bird. It's a long story. It's not every day you see you rushing along like this. <laughs> Good choice Yota. of all. <laughs> usually you've already been you have usually you've been ready we haven't done this in a few weeks, it shows, doesn't I know, it? Right. Usually you'd been ready for an hour or two by now. <laughs> I forgot to give, uh... Words! Order! <laughs> ah, overslapped. There you go. That's a sentence I can cope with. I forgot to give Twiggy a proper voice. Hang on a second. Ryota Kawara. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna give her like a high pitch voice, but not as high or not as like dear as before. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. <laughs> Ew. Living as a hunter gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. 
I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers, no good being late on the first day. <laughs> and so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. He was a bit worked up. He was in a bit of a flap. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. It was all I could do to adjust the, to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. The yeah, teacher's an owl. He's very funny. You could say he's a bit of a hoot. <laughs> the most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon by the pigeon and for the pigeon. I think we're in 2-3. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces. A strange thrill fills my heart as I look around to, at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's the uh, here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. <laughs> See, the puns are built right in for you. <laughs> oh yes, it's, it's no it's no fun when they didn't for me then. Good morning, everybody. Um, yeah. I'm Nanaki. Isn't that a female name? Uh, I it, no, it's actually could be both. Um, uh, I'm Nanaki Kazumaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. <laughs> <laughs> I specialize in math and scratching and <laughs> physics and also some other things. Boy. <laughs> Sir, wake up! It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open. <laughs> Kazuyaki Nanaki. This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. Uh, I bit my tongue again, damn it. He's a famously soporific math professor. I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show great minds can come in all forms. Oh, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Look, he's stuck on my arm. <laughs> Please introduce yourself, Shirogani. Oh, I've done it for you. <laughs> oh, Sakia, this is a snotty one. Hmm. Um, hmm. do you want to do? Who's gonna who? Who's gonna do the snotty Sakia? Um. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> do it. There you go. What's the point? There we go. I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh, well, I guess that's that. <laughs> hey, 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 why am I getting all the lines? That's no good. <laughs> well, <laughs> he doesn't want to introduce himself. <laughs> But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirogani? Oh, I've done it again. <laughs> <sighs> Shirogani the Bell Sakuya. <laughs> we just need a shot of you brooding. Brood. Sakya the bell, Shirogane. It seems this fantail is Shirogane Sakya. Uh, <laughs> his feathers would make any birdie proud. <laughs> Must have them! Must yeah. rip them from his body! Rip. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Sakya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already? Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly anybody here. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. 
or not, a morning dove stands in the dark corner staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Just not in the afternoon. <laughs> yup. Um, did you want something from me? <gasps> he looked away. Um, I can do. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes. I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? Uh... He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood? Maybe he's been sat there for six weeks, not eating, not sleeping, <laughs> drinking. <Maybe. laughs> I'm Tosaka Twiggy, a sophomore. What about you? Uh, you're... Uh, Nageki. Fujishiro. Nageki. Freshman. That's a funny name. Fujishiri Nageki Freshman. <laughs> yep. Fujishiro Nagaki, huh? Maybe it's just time, or maybe it's just because he's a morning dove, but he seems to be a little sad. It's, it's like becoming a, a, a sort of priest with the name, surname Bishop, isn't it? You can imagine Father Bishop. <laughs> the Reverend Bishop, make your mind up! <laughs> Leave me alone. He's already reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep Hello. meeting depressing people today. Oh, it's just going to get worse. <laughs> now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... I forgot the voice we used already. You should have instructed me not to... You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Um... I loved the voice I was actually doing him for him in the LP proper. <laughs> mm. Oh, the LP proper, as yes. opposed to this one. Which the, you know, we're just doing the this on the original LP. Yeah. <laughs> so this, this is just a pale imitation. I understand. Oh shush! This, this one's gonna be way better. <laughs> <laughs> um, I could do like a bro. It's like, come on, Sakya. What kind of thing? <laughs> What kind of thing is it that to say to your own brother after all these years? I should shorten some of the stuff the way that like those Wall Street douchebags do. My brother, you must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait. And the Git of the Year award goes to... <laughs> hey, wait just a minute. I guess even we're in the same school now. I'm going I'm going like a weird Brooklyn thing or Boston. So we'll do that. I guess if we're in the, in the same school now, what's done is done. <laughs> I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man... Sakazaki Yuya is Sakia's brother. I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. Huh? You heard the whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakia's? As if I have friends. Uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, no sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. Yuya Sakazaki. This fantail pigeon is Saza Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Everybody knows of him. You're Twiggy, right? How did you... I know everybody here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Sakia's? Not exactly, 
We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I'd never thought, have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe. He's an aristoc he is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article, in the flesh. He is? Actually, that was a typo. He's an aristocrat. And very, <laughs> very confused and scared. <laughs> He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. Adieu. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about you, you though. Probably a twisty business. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. <laughs> supposed to be everybody. <laughs> Yay! I'm learning huh? a foreign language. <laughs> sir, where's... Uh, sir. <laughs> sir, where's Ryota? Mm, hang on, Sid is like wrapped in my blankets and can't get out. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe she should go and see if he's still there. <laughs> now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. The concept of a pigeon with a weak stomach. <laughs> Excuse me. God, I'm it's like going back to the... Nobody's here? There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's nobody here. The story for this is so weird. Ryota? No reply. The we infirmary kind of is empty. guessed that. Yeah. <laughs> well, aside from the pigeons. <laughs> weird. Did he go home already? <laughs> oh, sorry. It's weird aside from the pigeons. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. She's <laughs> like, I steal a bunch of OxyContin. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Well, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. Ethylpar, Trife, Lucio, Benzene. What do these even do? Um. Care to find out? <laughs> oh, can you do like an Orson Welles impression? <laughs> <laughs> The doctor. <laughs> Ch -ch -ch changes. Um, I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Mm. <laughs> no, thank you. Shu Iwamine. This partridge is Iwamine Shu, the direct or the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation amongst the student body. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with aspergillus, psychosis, and or even worse things. And I never even heard him come to the door. What? Ninja Doctor? You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Do you need something? Um, I heard Ryota Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be in here. Him? He was quite delish. He's <laughs> already gone. <laughs> oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Not a problem. Could you take this bag of pigeon bones on your way out? <laughs> ah, finally out of that den of evil. Ryota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh! I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, and bird watching. Wasn't there what? another one? Perverts! I know, right? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school, and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. I think their club room is on the ground floor off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Are you dying to do this one? <laughs> Go, go. No. <laughs> this is no pudding for a man. <laughs> go. Okusan rejects it. It's a lie. A vicious falsification. You sound like canine. <laughs> <laughs> He's dancing around on a squished pudding. 
Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. <laughs> Oko-san. This is Oko-san. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. Cool! Oko-san has suffered a deception most vile! A wretched betrayal! <laughs> betrayal? No, a wretched one, you fool! <laughs> Oko-san instructed that pudding be provided for new members! But this is no pudding! Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most! <laughs> it's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Now, bear in mind this is a, a Japanese schoolgirl, and according to the cliché, she'll still probably eat it. Yep. <laughs> Spare the chests, young lady! Okasan used wing attack. It's super effective. They will rule the day they cross Okasan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shut it all, he will. Okasan must us train to achieve true pudding. Farewell. <laughs> and he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? Well, he's going to be easy to track with pudding on his feet. Mm -hmm. Well, pudding's delicious. And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeon Nations. Oh, I think we want to choose a class counselor today. <laughs> As you will know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can. But you don't. If you don't, then you're free to go home after school. <laughs> Just stop in the doctor's office on the way out. <laughs> Go, Okusan only has time for the track team. That's good. What about you, Shirakami? Come on. <sighs> <sighs> foolish question. I already hold a position here. Chief rapist in residence. <laughs> I'm a pigeon after all. Oh, that's right! You became a student president when you were admitted! <laughs> Nepotism ho! Don't we get the vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Hmm, I wonder what I should do. Join the... What do you want? Student council, track team, library staff. Oh, goody, the choices. Can I perhaps shoot myself in the head instead? Mm, yes. Uh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, well, I don't know. I mean, who, who, who's, who's, our, who's our lucky target? Ah, uh, I don't know. You know, which one, of these, which one of these pigeons is going to be given a, a, a stepladder, a book on human anatomy, and a, a note saying, come on, make it up as you're going along? <laughs> I can't remember what I did in the original LP. Well, it's uh, gonna it, it's gonna it's gonna be you know sort of um, posh idiot. Um, that really really annoying one from uh, Naruto. Well, that narrowed it down, didn't it? Yeah. No. It, yeah. It'll be the uh, oh. the asshole. Um, Ogosan. Yeah, that narrowed it down as well. <laughs> yeah. No. Ogosan. <laughs> Or Sundere Potter in the library. Yes. So. Yes, such choices. <laughs> I doubtless I'm not getting a look in. I'm not good enough for you. <laughs> well, there are other like cross choices. So. Okay. Right. I think I we can... did. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Well, I think your alarm went off, so I think we should make yes. a choice here. Yes. Um. Given the fact he's actually Wolf Under Voice, how about Student Council? Okay. I'm gonna be stuck with you, am I? That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun. <laughs> and we're gonna save. So, it's an elected day. What should I do? We will choose that later, I think. Oh, shit. Nope, that won't work. Wisdom right. of one. That explains a lot. <laughs> um, okay, so we're doing student council. We do math class music class, gym class. So, should we increase our wisdom? What, from its, its really hype current stand? Yes. I think it's probably a good idea, isn't <laughs> it? 
Mr. Nanaki dozed off as usual, but class was somehow good anyway. I feel smarter already. Alright. Twiggy leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. And now it'll let me save? It'll never let you save. Um, escape. There we go. Yay! Save. We're just going to save over those old saves. Are we, are we masterful at this? Hi. Yes. So professional. So slick. Woo! So, there we go. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, favorite, share. All those things are super helpful. And also, Simon's going to be doing a series on his channel that he and I are working on together. What's it called? Oh, good question. It's uh, something yeah. strip. <laughs> Put me on the spot, why don't you? Put me on the spot, you know. <laughs> I think it's Atsu. <laughs> ah, it is called, I mean, it's it's called, and you can tell I've really, really played I actually, I play games completely um, blank. So I, I, I download them, I talk about them, then this was about a week ago, so I haven't thought about it. It's called Akiba's Trip. Yes. Undead and undressed. Yep, it's, it's going to be awesome. It's a super funny game. And so check that out as well. Um, for those of you I haven't actually mentioned yet, uh, we're going to be putting the Naughty Trio series on hold for now just while things settle down for Laura. So Simon and I are going to be working on these. So remember to check them out regularly. And yeah. Yes, because if we don't do enough silly voices, we go into withdrawal. We do. I gotta, we got to like sit down and work on more voices. Just lots of voices. Yes. Just go crazy. All right. Mm. So... Thanks so much, and we will see you next time. Bye. Interesting use of the word go. Bye. <laughs>